Islam, Islam. One of the prophecies of Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed alayhi salam was that he will marry a woman called Muhammadi Begum. One of the principal arguments used to reject his claim to be the promised Messiah and Imam Mahdi is that this marriage never took place. It is also alleged that the motive behind this prophecy was lust and that a lustful person cannot be a prophet. Muhammadi Begum's family were atheists who were known to mock Islam in Christian newspapers such as the Jashme Noor and Noor Afshan between 1885 and 1887. When Mirza Ghulam Ahmed said he had been sent by God Almighty and had proof of the existence of God, his family wrote him a letter mocking Islam, reviling the Holy Prophet Muhammad and asking for proof of God's existence. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed humbly prayed, O oh my Lord, help your servant and disgrace your enemy. O oh Lord, respond to me. How long will they mock you, Messenger? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Aina Gamalate Islam, page 569. Following a revelation from God Almighty, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed salam announced that one, God would destroy them gradually unless they repented. Two, they should obtain light from him by giving their eldest daughter. Muhammadi Begum's had in marriage to him. Three, if they refused, her father will die within three years of her marriage to another person, and her husband within two and a half years. Contrary to what his opponents alleged, the real motive for this prophecy can be seen from what Mirza Ghulam Ahmed salam writes. He says, I had no need to request this relationship. God Almighty had fulfilled all my needs. The request for this relationship is merely as a sign that God Almighty demonstrates His wonderful power and that if they reject it, He might warn them through His wrathful signs. Announcement of 15th July 1888 Where is the motive of lust here? Clearly, the motive was to defend the honor of the Holy Prophet and to prove the existence of God Almighty. Now the prophecy could be fulfilled either through the marriage of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed to Muhammadi Begum, signifying their repentance, or the marriage does not happen and the signs of God's punishment will become manifest. So, what happened? Islam. Islam. In April 1892, Muhammadi Begum married Mirza Sultan Muhammad. In accordance with the prophecy, Ahmad Beg, father of Muhammadi Begum, died within six months in September 1892. Subhanallah, however, Muhammadi Begum's husband repented, turned to Allah, and his death, the second prophecy, was averted. Prophecies are conditional and if a non-believer turns to Allah, then Allah is the most merciful. In 1912, Muhammadi Begum's husband, Mirza Sultan Muhammad said, My father-in-law Mirza Ahmad Beg Sahib died in accordance with the prophecy, but God Almighty is forgiving and merciful and hears the supplications of his servants and has mercy on them. Mirza Ishaq Beg, the son of Muhammadi Begum said, my grandfather, Mirza Ahmed Beg, died as a result of the prophecy, and the rest of the family became frightened and hence reformed themselves. An undeniable proof of this is that most of them joined Ahmadiyyat. Islam 
इस्लाम अहमदियत इस्लाम अहमदियत बाकी सभी फसाने जिंदा यही हकीकत जिंदा यही हकीकत इस्लाम अहमदियत 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 इस्लाम अहमदियत